We have here an exhaust gas recirculation valve from an average family car. This valve is designed to bleed exhaust gases into the inlet manifold under certain conditions. Problems can arise, however, if the valve becomes blocked with exhaust debris. This can result in sluggish operation or even sticking open, uh, which uh, can cause severe engine problems ranging from kangarooing, engine stopping or not even able to start. Very convenient when they're out on a run. This, this valve can be cleaned with carb cleaner, but the problem is how do you decide whether or not it's working before returning it to the motor vehicle? So what I've done, I've come up with this little arrangement <coughs> using an old computer power supply. This is the power supply. Very handy things, computer power supplies. So before you throw your old computer away, take the power supply out. It's very handy. Put things just like this. So what I've done, I've taken the yellow and black lead from one of the disc plugs and connected them up to the two outside pins of the valve socket. 12 volts is available between these two leads, which is ideal for operating the valve actuator coil. On the, <coughs> on the motherboard plug side, I've taken the plus standby 5 volts and the 0 volts to power a small multi-vibrator, which I've knocked up on this old piece of Vero board. The output or trigger from the multi-vibrator goes to the enable signal to the motherboard plug. This vibration will pulse the power supply, thus pulsing the 12 volts to the coil and uh, operating the, vi the valve periodically. The circuit for the multi-vibrator, if anybody's interested, is here. I've printed it out on a here. Everything's marked, so just pause the uh, video if you wish to take a note of it, if you so desire. Uh, pin 9 is the plus 5 volt standby, pin 5 is the 0 volts, and pin 14, the green lead, is the trigger input to the motherboard plug. The two 22K resistors and the two 47 microfarad capacitors are the timing elements of this multivibrator, and they give a, a mark space ratio of roughly about a second, which will... Uh, cause the valve to pulse every second. Right, so there we have it. So I'll just zoom back in again. Right, so we'll apply mains to this uh, ensemble and we'll see it in operation. As you can probably hear, the valve is pulsing. And perhaps as you can see, it's operating about once every second. I'll turn it round so you can see it operating perhaps a bit clearer. So that looks okay. If it's sluggish or hesitates in any way, obviously you've got a bit of a problem and uh, you should be able to see uh, whether or not it's uh, functioning correctly. Right, I'll just switch it back off again. So there we are. If you find it of any interest, get building.